Here in the western coastal plain region of Great Britain, we meet up with a woman whose perseverance and determination have pushed her to where she is today. Martha Clements was born with a rare birth defect known as THS, better known as Tiny Hand Syndrome. THS affects only 0.3% of the world's total population. We sat down with Martha and asked her a few questions about the disease and what exactly it's like living with it. Oh yes, yes it's been very hard. There's, there's times where I simply want to crawl in a hole and hide, you know? It's really, it's, it's hard to live with, and, but I grow every day from it. Well, yes, school, school was rough. School, uh, school was a very hard time. Um, I don't talk about it much. Um, and you see, my, I would come home tears streaming down my face at everything that had happened prior, earlier in the day, and my father was a great man, but unfortunately he was an alcoholic, and when I'd come to him just so upset of what these kids were saying to me, he would say, Martha, why don't you make yourself useful and grab me a beer from the fridge? And so, you know, I have a chunk of me that is missing. I mean, I've always felt like something was missing. There's just something about the outdoors I've always loved. It's like a little getaway, a vacation to take my mind away from reality, which, which can be nice sometimes. It's just very lovely and this is where I cut, this is my sanctuary. But Martha doesn't let the hardships of THS get in her way of doing everyday activities, hobbies, and chores, just like you and I. These darn things just gotta keep them under control, you know. Just gotta... Bad little devils, aren't they? Very, very annoying. I'm the only house in the court with dandelions, of course, and you know how people in a small community are. I'm sure they're talking about me here and there, not even because of my tiny hand, because of all these blasted dandelions. Despite her one tiny hand, Martha enjoys playing basketball in her free time, and also swinging. Unfortunately, she was never permitted to join her school teams because of certain injury risks. You know, living with this disease is hard, and I've I've overcome many obstacles, but at the end of the day, I realized that this is me. This is who I am, and um, I'm, I'm very happy with me.